What's this? Make sure that my Jim Lives is picking that up and let me go grab my phone. We a little late on the stream today. I'm sorry, guys, but we're gonna go ahead and start this up. Hopefully, we can get like an hour and a half into this because that is what I'm trying to gun for today. Sorry about yesterday. It was just a little weird. All right. Uh, all right. So, good thing. Um, also, it's like super low in my ears. Uh, my health went all the way back up, but my stamina didn't. Problem is, though, we only have one thing of food left, so this is going to be our last resort thing. All right, real quick, let me talk to Zero. I see you've got Rykov's clothes from him. Disguise yourself as Rykov and infiltrate the West Wing, where Sokolov is being held. Select officer from uniform on the camouflage screen to change into Rykov's uniform. However, that won't be enough to pass as Rykov. To really become Rykov, you'll need to make your face look like his as well as your clothes. As for how you do that, well, I'll let you think about it. Hmm. Okay. I think I have that. So face, mask, um, officer. There we go. That should that should work. <clears throat> if not, then I don't know what the fuck. There we go. Dude. Sir. I like how they just don't. Just get sus seeing my uh, my walk. Here it is. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> what the? I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't. I wonder, is that Eva? Like, they both look the same. They both turn up at, like, the strangest point. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahads. Hm. Exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? 
To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. Oh god. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. You don't say. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. Sorry about that. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. Damn. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. Damn. 6,000 miles. That's a lot. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United oh. States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes oh, or satellites. Was I able to do something? It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Vulcan is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype and deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. You know, Sokolov, this all wouldn't have happened if you would have just died. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3. You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. 
Mine? Oh no, she is Volgin's lover. What the fuck? This is my lover. Oh, we're finally gonna see. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about Let's go play US? Warframe. Or Warframe. Warzone for that. Yes, I once yeah, thought of that. that hard. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. What's that back then? My creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Aw, oh, man. It's gonna be one of these again, isn't it? Oh, fuck me. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. can fool me you're sorely mistaken i know the major better than anyone else what the fuck the way how he gripped that i come here he looking for tatiana me. and what should i find but a greasy freebooter oh, oh damn It'll be better. What is this fairy disguise? It's gonna rub off on you. 
And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. Oh, oh, whoa. I'll give Snake credit for knocking the knife out of her hand, at least. I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. What the Are you going oh, to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Ivan? Who the fuck is Oh, damn. This is beating me up. Fuck. Dude, he can't fight you. Damn, stop. Oh, I, I, I see him still. Oh, God. I'll give Snake credit for still being able to stand. Like, holy shit. I'll give Snake credit for being able to take a beating like that. Yes, we'll save. What the? Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never did that. You! The fuck is going on? Sokolov is getting the shit beaten out of him. <laughs> Dang it. I guess he's dead. <laughs> Ow. I'm guessing. Well, Sokolov's now dead. Now Entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Hmm. You've certainly seen your share of battles. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I am about to show you what hell is really like. Well then, let's get started. What is your target? 
Is it the Shagohod? What? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? He's just literally beating Answer the shit me. out of me. Who is helping you? Who let I you can't, in? I can't do anything. You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Uh, uh, there we go. Dang. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Oh my god, the way how he's breathing. Answer me. How much does the CIA know? What's up, Mecca? Sorry, I'm just like. They're after my legacy, aren't they? Shut up. Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? The fact that he's taken all this in. dollars divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Is she? Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not no. that. Shit. Not much going on right now, just sat in bed at one. What do you want me to do? To the Damn. Let's see. Cut out his eyes. Oh, Jesus. I don't like those blue eyes of his. Wow, someone's jealous. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. Oh boy. Oh 
I'm like, bitch, stop touching me. Oh, Jesus. Stop! What is it, Tanya? He's suffered enough. Well, well. Oh, no. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Oh, get Stop yes. it! Take it a to tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. Oh, God. Here we go. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Oh, not. Oh, Jesus. Two. Three. Oh. oh, my God, that's how he loses his eye. Oh, my God. There, satisfied now. Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. Dang. Because I was like, in other, in Metal Gear 5, he's missing his eye. Oh, what are you... So you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? Can I kill you? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> you got lucky this time, Tatiana. Four four seven five. Holy shit, dude. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Okay, so now we. Oh, damn, dude. 
A fork? I don't know. What do we do? Can I? Oh, four, four, seven, five. been unlocked. <laughs> Who's calling me? Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the oh, northwest section of Crossing. I've been Crack. there. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. Okay, he's knocked out. What the fuck was that? Okay, we got a camera. Oh, Jesus. Was this where I was? I guess so. Okay. Oh, nice. We're getting more stuff. my stomach that I'm okay yeah I'm fucked up okay so yes small transmitter found very deep in the wound oh okay Take me up the ladder, please. Snake, go down. Okay. Where is that area? I think it's that way. I'm like so worried right now. Yo, what's up, Das? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh -oh. Trying to... Oh, fuck me. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta skedaddle. Can I go through here? I can't. Where's the door? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I don't I don't know where I'm going. Right here. Somebody just went flying out of my fucking back. What was that? Over here. 
Fucking dog. We're almost out of this. We're almost there. I, I know this area. This way. Go on the ground. Could have gone better. Snake, you're already in the sewers? Eva, yeah, I just got down here. Mm. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake? Let me guess. There's a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The Colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... Is sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. I'm gonna try. I lost something. Dude, like, I'm now missing an eye. This ain't cool. You know, maybe that's my... That snake's stomach? He's hungry. I just got a vampire bat. Oh, no, I lost instant noodles. This is horrible. I mean, it's better than nothing, snake, at this point. Okay, what's over here? I... Oh. Uh, it's just a little hiding spot, I guess. Don't tell me they're gonna they're gonna come down here, aren't they? If that's a thing that I can go into. I need food. Please, stupid frogs die. Trying to hit the frog is what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna puke. Uh, he doesn't have that. I mean, you will, but still, you'll be okay. So when you do ASMR, you don't hear anything that you're doing. Yeah, I don't. I just uh, do it myself, basically. Oh, maybe, maybe I get this rat. Can I not get up here? Snake, you can literally, oh my God. Go, go, go. Okay. I 
need to go get that stuff. Is it following me? Oh no, it is. Fuck off, you stupid dog. Get up, snake. Try me, motherfucker. Shuts up the dog. SAA bullets. Okay, so I think we're about to be getting a gun, maybe? Hopefully. Interesting. Yeah, I uh, I basically just it's kind of like how I, I learn it myself like if, if Like I I do it like how I want to hear the sounds and Then I just ask like hey does this need turned up does this need to be changed Yada yada yada. I just go from there basically So I need to go this way also, how's my food? Was not bad. We still got a vampire bat, though. I mean, that's that's decent for food, but I need something more. I would love to try to go through there. Oh, don't t wait. Is this where I came from? I think so. Wait, no, because there's something new here. SAA bullets. I, I can't go up there. Fuck. She said head. Entirely sure, like where North is. I'm surprised Snake is able to even walk around with how fucked up his body was just now. Okay, let's go down, back up. Nothing. reading in discord sorry i'm getting distracted okay. so i think that's where i came from so we're just gonna go down here Just how, like I'm kind of getting just like meh with like where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Ah, oh, I went the wrong fucking way. <gasps> okay, so the the dog literally can just get up on the thing. to wipe off the blood for you, Snake. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Go down, Snake! Fuck! I 
I've only been going for an hour, half hour. I, all I got, all I managed to have half was lose my fucking eye. And I got dogs chasing up. Oh! The light at the end of the tunnel. But there's a door. Oh god. Wait. Oh! Oh no! Go! Go, snake! Run, bitch, run! John Snake. Do a flip. It's gonna happen again. You again. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere. That one bullet. That he fucked up in the beginning. He wants to kill us with it. This is where it ends. Yeah, fuck you. Spin the revolver like that. Huh. How Don't long have I been yet? Forty-eight minutes. Damn. All it's been is about cutscene after cutscene. Damn snake, already. You already drawn it. Whoa. 
lives you have ended. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Oh, I got a gun. I can't hit him. You better not get close to me. Those are... These are people, right? I'm getting a lot of notifications on Discord and on my phone. I be thinking I'm getting killed. Trying to avoid everyone here. There's a lot of dead fish. Are these the ones that I killed? <laughs> That's my question. Are these the fish that I killed? I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot him or not. I'm just walking and I don't know. What the fuck is that? Oh! It's this guy. The pain? I think. Okay, now we're into these people. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I avoided it. Is there something I do? Okay, what? Can someone explain this shit? Snake, answer me. Snake, snake. What the hell? It's like she thought I died. What happened? Snake! Snake! I think everyone's gonna be saying that. Ah! What the 
fuck did I just do? Oh, look, there he is. first now. I'm guessing I'm going to be doing this for a while. Here comes more people. I don't know if these people can affect me or not. I don't want to stop, like... So, I, I killed the pain, the fury... Go. Um, I killed a good bit of those main people. I'm trying to figure out whenever they pop up. I killed the fury. I thought that was Sokolov. This ain't good. What happens is that if they get if I get touched. Sorry, I'm ignoring your stream. The Discord chat. Ah, uh, gone hollow. Um, I guess at this point. Uh, I know Joe. I'm I I'm getting distracted by it too. It, like I don't mind it. Like I don't. <laughs> yeah, like I'm. I'm sorry guys, like, I don't know if this is what I'm doing right or not. Okay, look, there he is, the Fury. What? Oh, he disappeared. That's... If you want the sorrow's camo, walk to the end of the river and touch the floating corpse. After snake dies, press and hold out to the use of revivals if you don't care about the camo. Instead, walking down the river down. Okay. Uh Oh! Are you serious? Did I, I, do I really have to do all this again? I swear to God. If I, yeah, fuck this, fuck the camo. I'm sorry guys, that just pissed me off. Okay, what is it? 
Uh, what do I use first? Revival? I just need to learn how to spell something real quick. Okay, give me that. Ah, uh, fake death pill maybe? I'll do that if I do, if I ever play this again. How do I? Can wake up from the fake death? So how do I wake up from the fake death is my question. Like, how do I do this? Do I let them kill me? That's the thing, do I just let him kill me? at this point, I'm just gonna lose my shit. Oh, fuck off. I didn't even touch you. What? How you gonna give me the option to swim, but you're, I'm not gonna be able to swim? I'm so fucking lost now. there. What do I do? Just drown snake right at the start and again press and hold out to use the... Oh, okay. Drown myself. What a fucked up way to go. Ah! I think I'm doing. I'm letting myself die, you piece of shit. Fuck this. And then. Drown and revive. Okay. And this is my first time using it. Is the thing. Boss. Did she just kill the sorrow? You watched your uncle play this years ago? Nice. This is my first playthrough. I'm sorry. Swim, bitch, swim. Memory's so foggy. Hey, you were able to help me out with this part at least. Well, all the blood got washed off. That's a, that's a good thing. <coughs> Just hearing it. I, I think I'm all good. Oh, never mind. My face is still kind of bruised up. Oh, and my pants. What am I? Oh, yeah. Well, I only got one eye now. Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. 
What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigurd? Yo, I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. Oh, boss. Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? The boss Still? killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah, I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. Something still seems off about her. Why is she doing all... Oh! Oh! Food! I want food. Oh, I... Oh! I need to stock up on food again. Oh god, that thing again. So there's a waterfall upstream. Sounds about right. I hear something. Well, I lost everything, so it sucks. Thermal goggles, so I can't use that. Uh. Huh? Oh. Hey. Thank you, Snake. Damn. What's a crap? I. Okay. I'm trying to. This. Fuck it. There we go. I need to I need to stock up on some food again. Really? Let's see about the bat. I've had enough. Uh let's see this. It's poisonous. Uh food poisoning. No, not that. I mean we're good now. 
only there was a way to actually uh, cure them of the poison. Let's just go ahead and eat it again. Poison. You're fine. So how's the game? Does it uphold today? Might play myself. Uh, Hollow. From my experience, yes. Like. It still it holds up to today. I have a I had a friend who was always talking about this game, and I finally got the chance to try it out myself. So with that, uh, one thing we grab this before it despawns. Just gotta check one. So this is still, of course, my first playthrough of the game, but other than that, I mean, I have died a few times, that is understandable since I not really like games like this. I died a lot more in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, I will say that. Oh my god, fucking snake. Gotcha. Don't tell me. Fuck, I'm full. I'm full. My food stuff is thin. Shit. Uh, okay, um, what can we get rid of? Oh, this is all I can carry? Alright, we'll, we'll drop that and then we'll just pick up the snake. So, let me guess. Okay, I go into the water. Ooh. I can go this way. You bitch. Come on. There's a cave. Get up. Cycle once again. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Ding. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. <laughs> All right, we're saving the game again. I do got to do some safety saves though. We've been playing this for over eight hours. Damn, almost nine? Damn. Oh, I got the eye patch now. Damn. No thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes. Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. I'm 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 just the, game the, the least you could do is call me Cynthia. Like that, losing my stuff. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? Can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? 
I wouldn't mind eating you. Uh, oh. So this is what we're going to. <laughs> when this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw <laughs> fish? Fucking eye. Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> Thank you, Snake. I'll be your eyes from now on. I love this song. I'm sorry, but I love it. Snake Eater is a good song. It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, I love the eye patch, though. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? So what does that do? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists have the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. How about we will get to the uh, the lab and we'll call it there. And Do you remember when oh. you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east Oh wing? yeah, I do. Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. 
There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. Good. And I have my ways. Got it. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. <laughs> I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. Aww. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. <laughs> What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Uh, okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh. Oh, this? It's, it's a, a button, button camera. Okay. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. You bitch. Wow. I swear, I love Snake. Both Raiden and Snake are my favorite, but I will say Snake is like his character sign of on me. I'll say that. Okay, so we got a fork. Did we get all of our stuff back at least? Yes. Okay, so. Alright, so we will get out, I think it's, which one is it? I think it's this one, that's the stun one. Uh, we'll do this one, this one, this one, this one, and I think I'll do. I can fit one more, but uh, I still got the fork equipped. We'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll do this one, how about that? Okay. So there's that. Uh, oh, something's right here. Nice. I will take it. All right. So, like I said, I guess once we climb up this ladder of whatever, we will end it. I feel like we're almost done with the game. Like we might be close. I like how I'm getting bullets, especially. AK-47 bullets, like they're preparing for something. I feel like it's about to be a boss battle or something. Well, I'm gonna save that for the next time though. All right, here seems to be the letter. Let's go. Man, imagine them actually remaking this to where like the graphics are nowadays. Oh my God, would this game be beautiful? Honestly. Hey, Hollow, do you have a Discord? Uh oh. So I'm very really glad that I got out of there. I just lost my fucking way out. Yeah? Here, uh. If you want to go ahead, uh, there's the Discord link to my. There's a link to my Discord if you would like to jump in. Lost our fucking escape route. That sucks. That straight up sucks. 
This way you'll get a notification. And I'm usually more active in Discord than I am on Twitch. A little bit somewhat of my days. All right, so we're here. And of course, this is where I'm going to call it. So let me just say that Snake with the eye patch looks a little bit more badass. See you in the game, Snake. It's been a while since I've seen you, paramedic. All right, so we have now, I'm pretty sure, I hit over nine, over nine hours in the game. Nine hey, hours Snake, and eight minutes. Have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No, can't say I have. It's about this expedition that goes to the planet Altair IV in an ultra-fast spaceship. When they arrive, they meet the survivor of the last expedition, Dr. Morbius. Dr. Morbius was exploring the planet along with his daughter, Altera, and the versatile Robbie the Robot. Ignoring the doctor's warnings, the expedition team is suddenly attacked by an invisible creature called the Monster from the Id. The special effects they used for the science stuff were really neat. I wish I had a robot like Robbie that could make anything I wanted it to. I'm more interested in that invisible monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding or wearing camouflage. Maybe someday you'll be able to turn invisible. Yeah, that'll be the day. All right, Hollow. Welcome, and I added you. Thank you for joining the Discord, and thank you for stopping by, especially with that help. I honestly didn't know what I was going to do at that point. I'm pretty sure I would have been stuck there. But maybe next time we'll finish this. But since we have saved and got all that out of the way, we can end it. Uh, let me see if there's anyone to raid. Uh, nah, the, no one's on at the moment. Everyone's usually on later, but that is going to be it. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. I'm going to head out. Maybe, like, play some more. Uh, what's my schedule usually? So, uh, Hollow, I do ASMR now. So, I do that on Mondays and Friday nights after work. So usually about 10 30 p.m 11 p.m EST uh, I do I try to do two streams on a Monday or a Tuesday it's usually one um, so it's Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday holy shit das the 500 bits holy shit thank you dang thank you and also, Hollow, uh, Das is also an ASMR streamer who I listen to. There's, um, I've heard MGS really has big gimmick boss, gimmicks boss. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I do Monday through Friday, and sometimes I may take the day off just to kind of relax a little bit and rest up, but there's that. Saturday and Sunday, Saturday is usually my day off, so I, I mainly go for... No, I do Sunday through Friday. So I only get like basically one day off basically. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go head out. Thank you everyone again. Das, thank you for the bits. Hollow for your help. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some more MGS3. And maybe we can see if we can finish this. I'm not too sure how much is left. But we're going to finish this no matter what. Uh, the next game that I have uh, planned is Overlord 2. If you guys have seen my Overlord Raising Hell playthrough, uh, it's the sequel to that. If no one knows, uh, I spelled YouTube wrong. I upload my videos to YouTube. If you guys missed the playthrough there, it's going to be there. But alright guys, I'm out. Thank you again, and I'll see you tomorrow.